What's up, man? It's your big brother, Trent. You tuned into the right video at the right time. Don't change this video because I'm about to tell you signs that you are doing good financially, even if it doesn't feel like it, or even if nobody ever tells you, okay? I'm assuming like you that type of person, you put in work all the time and you're working hard. You're trying to be the best that you can possibly be. But it's funny because you don't really know how good you are actually doing because people around you, they never tell you how great you are. They never tell you how, how far you've come in your life or anything. It's like nobody wants to tell you if you're doing good financially, right? Okay, well, big brother, I am. Okay, I'm going to tell you in this video signs that you're doing good financially. Don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel uh, if I say something that resonates with you and it vibrates with your soul. Don't forget to leave this video without putting in your two cents and leaving a comment below. And most of all, man, stay tuned to the end of this video because I got something very special as I always do. Okay, so listen, safe to say, we live in a society nowadays where the economy is definitely not, not like it was when we was growing up, okay? It is totally different now. Once upon a time, the American, the American dream was something that was achievable. You know what I mean? It was like, you knew that you was going to have a $400 million house. You knew that you was going to move to Calabasas and Hollywood Hills. <laughs> you knew that you was going to take care of your whole entire family and you was going to become this big time celebrity, the superstar. But... The economy is not like that anymore. And you're probably like me. You're thinking in your mind, you know what? I don't really want to be famous. I would rather just be rich than famous. Have you been thinking that? Comment below if you'd rather be rich than famous. Better yet, you probably say to yourself, you know what? I don't even want to be rich. I just want to be financially free. Okay. And if you're thinking like you want to be financially free, then you need to finish watching this video because I'm about to tell you signs that you're doing good. Okay. And you're going to make it to financial freedom if you continue to do what I'm about to tell you and lay out for you in this video. OK, so again, don't feel offended by some of these signs that I'm going to point out to you. Um, if, if you don't amount up to something that I mentioned, this is not to like get you upset or to make you feel bad. This is just to give this is like a blueprint for the new modern day society that we live in, because like I say, safe to say, folks, like the economy is definitely not doing good. OK, but we don't want to think that it's not going doing good because we chosen ones. We still feel like we can manifest the life that we want to live. Right. So anyway, there are new levels of success nowadays. OK, there are new levels of success nowadays. OK, you don't have to have a Maybach and a Rolls Royce to appear successful nowadays. All right. You just need to do these be doing these signs that I'm about to lay out for you in this video. OK, um, so here's the first sign that you're doing good financially. If you can pay all your bills on time by yourself, you're doing good financially. Also, if you can pay your bills with your girlfriend or your boyfriend and y'all working together to do it, you know, maybe you got a husband and wife, uh, perhaps. If you are paying bills on time, I'm talking about month to month and they on time, okay? Even though you probably struggle to like make that mortgage payment or you might be struggling to, to scrape up the money to make your car payment or whatever it don't matter if you are able to keep your stuff and you be making payments on this stuff then you are doing better than the average american okay you're doing better than most people can ever imagine okay there's a lot of people who can't pay their bills there's a lot of people who are homeless you know there's a lot of people who don't um, have an apartment and they can't make rent for the apartment. You got to understand you're not in a worse position. Okay. It's just that you're doing good financially. Okay. So if you can pay your car payment, if you can pay rent, insurance, water bills, take care of your own kids. If you got a dog or a cat or something like that, and you can feed a cat with or a dog that's not even a human, then you are definitely doing good financially. Okay. As a matter of fact, um, People who actually take care of pets, they actually spend the same amount of money as a person that has a kid, okay? People that actually spend money on pets, they actually spend a lot more money than some people that even have kids, okay? So take that in consideration if you have a pet, all right? Yes, you are doing good financially if you are taking care of yourself like as far as bills go, okay? And like I said, if you're a single person and you're doing it, you are definitely good. You're definitely doing good financially, OK, even if it don't feel like it, even if nobody don't tell you. OK, remember, a lot of people can't make ends meet like that. A lot of people can't make that rent money like you do. All right. Let's continue on. 
Another sign that you're doing good financially um, is if you can feed yourself. Can you feed yourself? Okay, especially if you're an adult. Now, come on now, let's keep it real. If you're an adult, if you're over 21 years old and you can feed yourself in this society that we're living in today, where there's a shortage on food out here and the food, the inflation on the food and the gas and everything is sky high and you can still eat breakfast, lunch and dinner, then safe to say you are doing good financially than the average person. Like I said, folks, it's a lot, it's a lot of people out here who can't, who don't, it's a lot of people at who, who can't wake up and just eat breakfast. You got to keep this in mind. Okay. You got to be more grateful. It's a lot of people who can't go on a lunch break and just go to Chipotle or go to Subway or you know, JR Crickets or something and just get some food. You feel me? They got to thug it out. You know, they got to grind it out and wait till they get off of work and then hope that they got enough money to, to go home and, 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 and eat. You get what I'm saying? So if you can feed yourself, um, if you can go to the store and just uh, get what you have a taste for, okay, then you are doing good financially, okay? And even if it's not a lot of money in your bank account, and you know you're hungry or whatever, and you just you just still want to eat what you want to eat. If you're the type of person like me, you know what I'm saying? I still like to just get what I want to get, even though I might even can't afford it some days, like steak, for instance. Fellas, you understand me when I say this, but like steak and potatoes, you know, two of my favorite dishes, you know, and I understand that steaks can sometimes be considered expensive for some people, but if you can just go to the store and just, you know what I mean, just like buy food, for your family or yourself without having a problem, then you are definitely doing good financially, okay? You're doing good financially, even if nobody tells you, I'm telling you, all right? Look at the crisis in California. Look at all the homeless people. Look at these all these homeless people in all these major cities. Look at the homeless people in San Francisco, one of the most financially well-off, supposedly the most financially best places to stay. Look at all those homeless people up there. Okay, look, it's your hometown. Just go to your hometown and go to the, the biggest bridge in the hometown and you'll see all the people that's homeless and they're staying up under the bridge. Okay, so this is a sign that you're doing good financially, you know, if you can actually eat. Okay, if you can just eat, you're doing good. All right. Um, another sign that you're doing good financially is if you can take yourself out on your own. All right. The society that we live in nowadays, the economy is just so bad and just not so good right now. Um, um, for whatever reason, I don't know. Somebody speak, let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below why it's so bad. But um, it's just so, everything is so pricey right now is because uh, whatever reason, like I said. But if you notice, most people are codependent nowadays because they just simply can't take care of themselves. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a lot of people rooming and roommating with people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people shacking up with other people. You know, a lot of people are dating just to get a benefit off of a specific person and things of that nature. But if you can take yourself out on your own and you're not always codependent on what somebody can do for you, you're doing good financially. Nobody's not going to tell you that. Okay. As a matter of fact, a lot of people will hate you for that. A lot of people will get envious of you for being able to take care of yourself if that is if that's you. Okay? That's a that's definitely another sign that you're doing good financially if you if you have you don't codepend on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not trying to say there there aren't times where you are down bad and you you might, you know, go get a loan from the bank or you know what I'm saying, you just ask somebody to loan you a couple dollars or something like that. Yes, we all go through times where storms come. And look, hopefully you got somebody that you can call on that'll, that'll, that'll give you that or that'll give you that ride or whatever it is that you need and, and you can ask him for that. But uh, the truth of the reality is, is that a lot of people nowadays have to do that because they are not doing good financially. But if you're doing good financially um, and you're not using people to benefit your own well-being like a lot of people do then you're doing good financially, okay? Nobody will never tell you that, but I just told you, okay? Last but not least, um, if you have your own car in your own place, I know this sounds crazy, but if you have your own car in your own place, then you are doing good financially, okay? And listen, I'm not trying to step on the people's toes out there who don't have a car and don't have their own place to stay. Listen, that was just me like yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I rode uh, Ubers and Lyfts for like three or four years, 
And I stayed at Airbnb for like three or four years. I did it every single day and I never had a car and I never had my own place to stay, but I was still taking care of myself though. You see what I'm saying? So if you're the type of person out there, you don't have a car, you probably driving your friend's car or you ride Ubers and Lyfts or something like that. Um, you doing good financially. Okay. Even if you can buy Lyfts to get back and forth from place to point A to point B, you're doing good financially, man. Okay, like I said, the economy has changed so much that if you can just get to somewhere, you can just get to work. You know what I mean? You can transport yourself from this place to that place without having to ask anybody for anything and you pay for it yourself. You are doing good financially. Okay, even if you was like me right now, if you was like me once upon a time, like when I used to stay at Airbnb, if you have to stay in Airbnbs just because you don't have a place to stay right now and you're able to make the Airbnb price and you're able to go from this Airbnb to that Airbnb and stuff like that, you're doing good financially. It's a lot of people who can't even afford a hotel room, let alone the Airbnb. You get what I'm saying? So if you're in a position right now where it's like you kind of feel like you're homeless, but you actually stay in somewhere that you don't want to be, okay, and you're you're paying for most of the stuff that you, you, have, you have gotten, then you are doing good financially because you're putting yourself in a position to where you're like, I don't even want, I don't want to depend on nobody no more. If I have to do it by myself, then I'm going to do it by myself. Listen, you're better off than most people because these people that are actually trying to use other people to benefit their well-being, they're never really going to learn nothing in life. They're going to always come, circle right back around to the point where they started from because you, when you start using people, when you start trying to codepend on people, at the end of the day, if they want back what they give you, then they have every right to. You get what I'm saying? So... um, if you have your own place to stay right now, like whether that's not a, a, you got an apartment, if you got a condo, penthouse, townhome, it don't matter. If you stay by yourself, you're doing your own thing. If you got a roof over your head, man, you doing good financially in this modern day society that we live in, okay? And if you got all of these signs that I just mentioned in this video, you are on the path to financial freedom, okay? You... Okay, I'm not trying to say you're gonna hit for a billion dollars tomorrow. I'm not gonna try I'm not trying to say you still can't be a multi-millionaire, but just simply saying that I'm financially free and I can pay my bills. You know what I'm saying? I can pay my bills, I can feed myself, I got a roof over my head, I can take care of myself, I don't need nobody's help. I got my own place to stay, I have my own whip. You know what I'm saying? I can take myself from point A to point B. You doing good, you doing better than 75% of Americans. Okay. You're doing better than 75% of the population out here. So don't let nobody tell you that you're not doing good if you got some of these signs in this video. All right? So um, it's your big bro trend, man. Make sure you leave a comment below and let me know, did you get all these signs in this video? Are you doing good financially? And you didn't know it, okay? If I told you that you are, if I told you these signs and some of these signs resonated with you, then trust me, man. Just take it from somebody who done been there and done that, man. I know I know what it's like to not, to struggle. You feel me? And I also know what it, I ask, I also know what it's like to do good financially, like for the first time in your life. Okay, but again, don't get twisted up if you're not walking outside to a G wagon or the new Land Rover or something, and you see it go past you or something. You don't know who that person is going past you in that new Land Rover, that 2024. Do y'all know how much that 2024 Land Rover costs? It's cost two hundred and forty thousand dollars. That is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You 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 better off you better off just going to get you a, 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 a Ferrari or something. But that's just how bad inflation has got. Insurance has gone up on, on cribs, uh, houses. The housing market is out of control. Uh, car car payments and stuff is out of control. Rent now is probably fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars for one two bedroom. It's ridiculous. So economy has definitely shifted. And so if you got these signs in this video, then you are doing good financially. Don't let yourself trip over yourself. Okay, you're doing good. You're doing really good. Somebody comment below if I'm talking to you and say, I'm doing really, really good. Now, if you trying to live up to some of these signs that I just mentioned in this video and you need some help, that's what I'm here for, man. I'm your life coach, Big Bro Trim, man. Make sure you book a session with me. My sessions, I mark them down very cheap because it's the first of the month, okay? If you want to book a session with me, book a session with me today. I'll be glad to talk to you and chop it up with you and talk about how we can get you into your own place. If you're not in your own place, you know how I can get you to pay, help you pay your bills. I'll tell you everything you need to know. OK, so you can start being doing good financially. 
okay? And, and getting you to financial freedom. Because like I said, nowadays, that's all you need to be financially free, okay? Um, also, um, if, if you want to watch another one of my videos, check out one of these other videos right here, man. Signs you're living in a fifth dimension right here. That's a video that I like the most. Signs that you're living in a fifth dimension and signs that you're the black sheep of your family, okay? So you can pick one of these videos right here and watch them or you can just book a session with me and I'll be talking to you like in a few minutes, okay? Also, I wanna make this note out there, y'all. If you, if you book a session with me and you booking like, cause I've had people booking back-to-back -back sessions, folks. Don't keep booking sessions with Big Bro Trend like five times back-to-back, -back, okay? We gotta let other people get in and get a chance to book sessions that never talked before. Uh, to your big bro. Okay. So again, for people out there to keep booking sessions back to back to back, remember folks, it's only just one me. Okay. So let's, let's be mindful and take into consideration that other people want to book too. Okay. And I know you want to talk to me and stuff like that, but, um, just don't, don't, don't spam up the booking. Okay. With, with your own session. All right. With that being said, man, these are the signs that you're doing good financially. If nobody don't tell you, or even if you don't know, make sure you subscribe to this channel. It's your big bro trend. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.